Now, from an abattoir dumping chicken waste in Pochevstrum to what you might call guilt-free meat in Cape Town. An audacious startup has entered the beef burger business without having to harm a single cow. Mars has this report on South Africa's contribution to the search for moral meat. The white coats and determined walk might give them a look of scientists. But these are farmers. Well, farmers with a twist, that is. They are growing top quality beef, but without animals. What we're doing is making a cow without the cow. Well, cow flesh to be specific. And if that turns you off, feast your eyes on this. A burger unlike any burger you've ever eaten. You see, the meat has been engineered in a process that might just change global food production forever. Cape Town's Mzansi Meat Company produces cultivated meat. That is meat grown in a lab with not an animal in sight. Their CEO, Brett Thompson, says it heralds a more ethical food production system with one simple aim. Providing uh, meat that doesn't require an animal to be killed but tastes exactly the same, it tastes like beef. And when that is available to people, I think the world will just naturally move to a food system where we no longer need animals to be killed. It's a noble ambition with one major challenge. To succeed, the lab-produced meat must taste just like the original. Enter Absi Pantwa, Mzansi's head of taste. You might say the company's putting its money where her mouth is. Your job title, head of taste. <laughs> Let's talk about that. It sounds very interesting. When it comes to the taste and actually the texture, so that is where the, the magic lies. It's keeping us honest, you know, when it comes to the texture, the taste, and to make sure that everything always comes through as what it is, which is beef. Brett says to create perfect cultivated beef is relatively straightforward. It starts with a single biopsy. It's a tissue sample that we take uh, from a cow. Well, it's about the size of a peppercorn. Uh, and we bring it back to our facility here in Woodstock. Freshly harvested from cows, we're assured aren't harmed in the process. The sample is handed to Mzansi staff who separates a few muscle and fat cells before putting them in a special growth medium in an incubator. And once they start growing, they start duplicating, they grow and they grow and they grow. And that couple of cells turns into trillions and then turns into enough so that we can then harvest it. We're given a tour of this revolutionary ranch. There's a general lab where the substances that'll help the meat grow are prepared. And then we move into something that we've called the pasture. So the pasture is where um, you can start actually seeing our, our team already isolating cells. Here, a few cells are put in special dishes where they begin growing and multiplying in an incubator. From just a few cells, to millions. So where do we find ourselves now? Well, now what we are in is the bioprocessing room. Uh, we also call it the crop. Uh, oh, this is the crop. This is the crop. Here, millions of cells from the pasture are put into what are known as bioreactors, where they multiply, forming colorless little pieces of meat. Then, the lab-grown meat heads to Apsi, who adds color, flavor, and texture. For a demo, she needs a freshly grown sample, and that's in the hands of Dr. Carl Naylor. Brilliant, but notoriously late. And here comes Carl now. Kyle, so please explain to us what we will be doing here. So from all of this, we're going to get a burger patty. A burger patty, yes. Carl brought us just enough meat for a slider. Lab-grown meat is colorless, so he mixes in the special ingredients prepared by Apsi, adds a little water and some coconut oil, and there it is. Lab-grown meat transformed into something resembling ground beef. It was left to me to turn it into a patty. Does this count as me being a food scientist? <laughs> I hope that does the trick. Voila. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a food scientist. <laughs> so this is our patty. That is our cultivated bee patty, yes. In April this year, Mzansi unveiled Africa's first cultivated beef patty at a gala function in Cape Town. 
Tasneem Karodia is co-founder and farm manager. Tasneem, how expensive is this meat? So in 2013, the first burger that was made in the Netherlands was 250,000 US dollars. I'm excited to say that the price has come down dramatically. <laughs> in April, one of the burgers that we, we had at our event cost 20,000 rand. And if you're wondering, the burger we just created cost around 3,000 rand. But the company is aiming for a product that costs no more than conventional meat. Until then, let's see how our three grand version delivers on taste. If you want to prepare a very special burger, you need a special kitchen, right? And what's better than the MasterChef kitchen? A unique tasting awaited. And we made it to the spot. Is this for me? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Um, okay, perfect. Will you do us the honors? Yes, I will. Um, yeah, the oil is perfect. Yeah, go in. <laughs> Ooh, there's a nice sizzle. Within minutes, the patty was ready to become the centerpiece of a truly cutting-edge burger. Would you look at that? Yeah, perfect. Can you see how excited I am? What? With some slap <laughs> chips as a side, this was the fruit of our labor. From petri dish to plate, a fully-fledged lab-grown burger. Are there other companies in South Africa doing this? When we started, there wasn't a single uh, cultivated meat company in Africa. And, and now we're seeing um, a couple more happening. So it's exciting, it's a, it means it's an industry that's growing um, and we cannot wait to take what we're doing to the rest of the continent. So with the continent waiting, what about other types of meat? We've already started looking at other species. So we've got pig and chicken and lamb as well. So in the future, one day, we can look forward to um, some good pork ribs made in the lab. Absolutely. Exactly the same, just made better. Back in the kitchen, it was time to taste. The moment of truth. <laughs> it looks pretty good. It yeah. smells really good. But does it taste really good? Not one to speak with my mouth full. I let my expression do the talking. <laughs> It was, in every way, indistinguishable from regular meat. And how was that? Like, did the texture come through of a beef patty? Absolutely. The seasoning mm -hmm. as well, the texture of it, the softness. But what's even more interesting is that I am the 10th person in the universe to ever try a Mzansi Meat Company burger. I mean, more people have walked on the moon. <laughs> from here, the plan is to ensure cultivated meat is within reach of every South African as soon as possible. If they succeed, it'll be another step for a global movement hoping to transform how we produce our food. Ask them and they'll tell you the future of our planet depends on it. It is. <laughs> well done. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Awesome. That's really good. Thank you for watching our stories here online and please subscribe below to become part of our YouTube community and be notified when we upload our latest content.